What's up everyone? Welcome to my video today. Um, I'm going to cover a topic that's sort of sensitive and about my genitals. So if you aren't really comfortable with that, I suggest you don't watch. But other than that, I'm excited to uh, help some people out hopefully and raise some more awareness about this topic. So I've been thinking about making this video for quite some time now because I think it'll really help some people and it's something that I think is sort of important. But at the same time it's sort of a sensitive and private thing so it's kind of difficult to share. So how did I find out about foreskin restoration? Um, as a kid I sort of felt like something was missing from my body and I'd always look down and be kind of curious about it and I knew I was circumcised but I didn't really know what that meant until I started researching it and figuring out like what actually am I missing so a couple years ago I had an issue with some dry skin on my glands and um, it was like sort of red and I went to the dermatologist to figure out, you know, what was going on and like how to fix it. So they gave me a steroid cream to put on it and they said it was a case of psoriasis or eczema. And so I went home and I applied it and stuff for a while. And I still have the medication and I've been using it for a really long time couple years probably but it never really helped it just sort of calmed the uh, calmed it down and didn't really do anything beyond that and it was just still a problem and I was kind of frustrated with the doctor and I wondered if it would ever be cured um, so I went ahead and researched on my own found out that um, what being cir circumcised really entailed and that's like having your glands exposed 24-7 to the elements and that causes like a layer of dry skin and cracked skin on on the penis basically um and circumcised, uncircumcised people don't really have this issue because theirs is always covered with um, mucosal skin, which keeps it moist and normal, basically. And a lot of people, well, I don't blame my parents for circumcising me because it's basically the norm in America, which I think is pretty stupid. And... Um, the people who advocate for circumcision are using um, not great uh, evidence of reduction in STDs or um, STIs or st and stuff like that, and it like makes it easier to clean or whatever. But it's just kind of dumb in my opinion um, because we're all born with it, and you know. It's like basically genital mutilation. But I'm just going to move on from that. So I figured out um, what that really meant. And shortly after that, I, f I found out about the Foreskin Restoration subreddit, which currently has only 11,000 subscribers, which is sort of surprising because I feel like more people should know about it. And this is like an issue that affects people like physically and psychologically um, because you can lose like sensitivity and have some issues physically and it could cause you like depression or frustrations with your own body um, so I'm glad I found out about it and that was about six months ago um, and yeah so what is foreskin restoration? Well, 
It's basically getting your foreskin back through mitosis by tensioning the skin or stretching it or tugging as people refer to it as. It's like the common nomenclature. So people consistently tug from CI or RCI 1 to 10 and that's basically a scale of um, how much skin you have on a scale from 1 to 10 and it's like a gradual so 1 is like having a really tight circumcision and then it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and like 10 is like basically fully restored and you can't really tell the difference between someone who's fully restored and who's uncircumcised and hopefully that's I get there but I'm only at uh, RCI 3 right now um, but it's still good progress for six months and it usually takes people a um, couple years to uh, get to where they want to be so yeah um, at first I was kind of skeptical and maybe thought this was like some sort of weird scheme or some weird I don't know thing that people did to um, I don't know I just was really skeptical about it so I just decided to try it because I thought it was like the only option um, since I had learned about um, what being circumcised and uncircumcised means and at least there was some hope that I could gain it back somehow. And yeah, I've seen pretty good progress so far. Um, I use the DTR device. Or so basically you can stretch manually with manual methods. And there's like pictures and videos on how to do it. Um, or you can use a device and put it on and forget about it all day and take it off every once in a while, you know. Um, and it does take a bit to learn about, you know, what kind of methods there are to use to stretch the skin and keep it um, under tension in a variety of ways so that you get the most out of your time and to like gain skin back as quickly as possible so yeah there's a whole community of people who are doing this but I don't feel like there's nearly enough people that know about it and I basically had to dig around the internet and figure out what was wrong so that I could find this community of people um which I wish I had found earlier, but I'm glad I found it at all. So basically, I'm making this video just telling my experience and logging my progress for six months and raising more awareness about this issue of, you know, being like circumcised and what that entails and just, um, trying to help more people out if they're experiencing um, if they're thinking about restoring their foreskin or if they're thinking about oh like what's wrong with my thing down there um, and it could be because you're circumcised like you don't have as much sensitivity or you have a lot of dry skin or a lot of different things um, yeah Thanks for watching my video. If you want to learn more about it, let me know. Um, go to Reddit and do foreskin underscore restoration, and you'll find a lot of resources there that help me. Um, and there's a great community of people that are in very encouraging and um, knowledgeable about this topic. And there's definitely people out there that. Um, don't really talk about this as much even though they've like fully gone through this process but you know it's hard for people to talk about and be open about um 
especially since most people in America are circumcised and don't really understand what that means, which is kind of sad, but hopefully I, we can raise some more awareness about this, and yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.